and welcome to Vlog Ember. I'm so excited to do this. So today there is going to be a lot of different things in this video. There's going to be some stuff that was picked up, there's going to be some sales and there's going to be some charity shop footage. Now because I'm making the video shorter I'm going to make the charity shop footage last over a few videos. So it'll be talking about the interesting points that's happened and showing you things at the end what we bought. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I want to just get as much stuff into each video as I can but under under 20 minutes so it's not too much for a daily video anyway guys if you enjoy the video please consider giving me a big thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't already why not it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time but please don't it's going to keep getting better and i am on a roll and i'm going to get vlog ember finished this year last year i missed four days so this year it's going to be a full month i am determined and hit the bell for notifications anyway guys Let's get into it. Right, guys, I have some stuff to show you what Rob picked up today while I was out. So, he bought a pair of Farrah trousers. He hasn't bought Farrah for ages, but I know why he's bought them, and I'll explain in a minute. He's got a suit and three CDs, and he paid £5 for these. So, yeah, we, got, we basically got rid of a load of CDs, and now we're starting to collect them again. But we're only getting ones that we really, really like. So Green Day, Insomniac is mine. Fuji's The Score is both of ours. And the Fratelli's. Costello Music, we did get rid of in a bundle. But Rob regretted it instantly, so he bought it again. This happens a lot in this house. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we got those. And then we've got this suit. Um, let me see if I can find what the make is. Let's undo the buttons with one hand and see how we go. <laughs> Aha. Right, so it's a wool suit. It's got the new wool mark on it. Oh, it's a neck suit. Um, 44 inch L and trousers to go with it. So yeah, it'll do well with that. Um, £5 for the suit, the Farrah trousers and the three CDs is not bad at all. Then he picked up these. So this is a pair of, duh, 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 I have no idea. They're a 30 waist which is very small. Here we are. Where's this label? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right, hang on. I'm going to work out what these are and come back. Okay. So these are Apache shorts, not trousers. Like a cargo short. Here we are. There's the hit. Um, couldn't find anything anyway. I had to go and ask Rob. Anyway, it says there are 32. Inside, there are 30. Always say, don't go by the... Uh, Charity shop tag. £3.55 for those. And Arctic Monkeys. This is a long sleeved um, Arctic Monkeys top with the big logo on the front. This is really nice. This was £4.55. And it is base as colour. It's an XL made in Bangladesh. Let's see if it is actually. Make sure it's not. Um, Primark or anything because as we all know Primark do band t-shirts no there's no label in there yeah that's cool um don't know how much we'll get for that but it's definitely worth more than 4.55 and Alexander McQueen scarf so this is a good one it is real um four pound <laughs> crazy so it's got all the original tags made in Italy um there's the wash tag and it's got that there hang on Ugh. there we go alexander mcqueen label um yeah it's good we've had a look online and someone has sold one of these for 175 pound um we're going to ebay it and i'm going to put it on vestia as well so how cool is that i think that is lovely um, so yeah, that is the little mini haul today. There's no footage, obviously, because Rob went by himself. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Isn't that a banger? That is definitely a banger. And I never say that about things. I'm never like, oh yeah, it's a banger. But that is a banger. Alexander McQueen. Um, yeah, I really like the Arctic Monkeys top, but it has nothing on that, does it, really? Right got some sales to show you and um, there is another one over here as well 
but we'll get into that in a moment. So over here we have a Budweiser denim jacket. We've had this quite a while and um, it's a really nice one and it's gone for £120. So after fees and what we paid for it, we've made about £100 on that. Absolutely amazing. And it's been on at all different prices and had no interest. And it's gone for 120 It's crazy. Um, this rugby shirt, which is one of the ones that my cousin Jackie sent me. So thank you, Jackie. Um, this has gone for £112 on auction. So after fees and everything else, we've made about £100 on that. Really, really happy with that. So thank you, Jackie, for that. Um, yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. We're so grateful. We've still got all the others. They haven't sold yet. But yeah, that's a great one. We have a Bob the Builder early 2000s set here. Um, I bought quite a lot of Bob the Builder stuff from a small car boot that I went to. And this has gone for £20, which is amazing. Um, or was it eight? No, 18 this one. This one was 18, the other one was 20. So £18 for that. So after fees and what I paid, I have made about £12 just on this bundle. And I paid five for everything. These slippers have gone on Vinted for £8.50. So after what I paid, because that's all I pay on there, um, I've made £7.50 on those. Really happy with that. They are Dr. Keller slippers. They have had, I don't think they've been worn. So yeah, very happy with that. This is an Etsy sale, this little lovely bubble glass bud vase. This has gone for £21.99 on Etsy. It's going in the UK. Um, so after fees, I have made, and what I paid, I've made about £12 on that. So again, really happy. Um, these are going well. They don't go quickly. And the, yeah, they sit around for a while, but I get good prices for them when they do go. So really happy with that. And this Bob the Builder bundle is part of the one I bought for £5 again. And this one went for £20. So after fees and everything, I have made about £15 on this one. So it was definitely worth picking up. This is a newer bundle as well, and I've only got one bundle left. So £5 is now into probably about £30 profit. Um, yeah, round about £30 profit. So very, very, very happy. Um, so yeah, that's it. I don't know what I'm aiming at. Um, loving the fact that we've got a set with all these bobs in as well. I was a bit concerned because she was the lady was saying to me that her son basically just loved bob and every time he could buy a figure he bought bob and i was like oh well, that's cool and um, there was literally two wendy's and all the rest were bobs but we've got the vehicles so i think that makes up for it but you know but it is bob the builder at the end of the day so i mean how bad can it be to have all these bobs <laughs> anything good in there i think so it's a vegetarian shoe it's good mama's oh uh, yeah so they're still in there yeah they've been in there a while haven't they Right, so I'm looking through the clothes here, mainly to see if I can find some walking jackets. But I've noticed that all of them are really expensive now. Um, in this shop in particular, £8 for a mountain warehouse coat. I mean, there is profit to be made there, but not a lot. Not worth me getting it home and, you know, potentially finding something wrong with it. Same with this TOG 24. I think that was £8 as well. Um, and they've just a regatta fleece, and it was I think that was 5 
um so yeah just was not worth me picking up but just wanted to explain why i'm sort of scouting through the clothes at the minute i am looking for like walking jackets walking gear and walking shoes but these were absolutely filthy they're just and they were a small size as well so that's why i left them behind um yeah everything clothes wise that i found like this crag hoppers that was too expensive um there was just nothing for me no meat on the burn at all So they wanted six pound for these fly london shoes and normally i would have picked them up but oh. as you can see at the side this sort of paint and leather when it goes like that it can easily split so i was just like no i've had that happen quite a few times where i've sent off shoes in that condition and they have got broken in the post those clark shoes were nice but they were in 450 not a bad price but they were just a really small size i think they were a four and a half so i didn't get those i am being very 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 select about what i buy at the moment and um, if you could see my house right now you would understand why <laughs> so i am being extra careful now about what plushies and um, cuddly toys that i pick up because a lot of them can be worth next to nothing and i like to comp them but these hello kitty builder bears are definitely worth looking out for i'm going to show you the comps now that i found and i think you'll be pleasantly surprised although rob is just chiming in here with showing me what he's found with this t-shirt which is another bolo to be fair um We've seen these t-shirts um, sell for around 40, 50, 60 pound. Brand new. They are sold out everywhere at the moment. Um, I'll show you what it is at the end. I can't remember the make of it now. I think it is Neil something. I can't remember. But online, they are selling for 119 pounds, but they're sold out everywhere. So they're really sought after. Here's the Hello Kitty comps that I found. This is, um, I think these are the listed prices at the moment. Of course, I always check those first. I know a lot of people are like, don't check them, but I like to see how many there is and what they've got them on for because things can have sold for a really good price. But if people are listing their items a lot cheaper, then it is going to affect the price you put it on for. There was one at the top there that had gone for £69.99. Um, and my eldest, Mantha, told me yesterday that um, they're selling on Depop for over a hundred which is crazy. I will be listing mine for that. I will tell you that now because I do feel like that's really taking advantage. But I think that they are quite rare, especially if you find them with the burr. A lot of them have the burrs missing. So here's some more realistic comps there for you. Um, and yeah, they're all, they're all pretty good. They go for quite good money. So it's definitely worth looking out for their Hello Kitty Builder Bears and comping any Builder Bears that you come across, to be fair, because... Some of them can be limited edition and can be worth big money. Yeah. 
Yeah, that Hello Kitty builder bear, they can do pretty well. This one sold for 70, but the lowest one was 25. Yeah, you can get a bond. Lent new bond to that. Hope you enjoyed that. Right, so the next part of the charity shop video will be on tomorrow's video. So watch out for that. So you will see what Rob got on the comps for that t-shirt. Um, like I said, I don't want to make them too long, but I don't want to miss any good footage out. So we will keep it coming and see how it goes. So guys, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know how your November is going so far. And I will see you on the next one. Take care, be kind, stay safe. Ta-ta.